is a Poland Woodsman, 1800. This is a freaking 1985 Poland, made in the U.S. of A. It's top handle. My best friend gave it to me. You know, it's, his papa owned a Poland dealer. The real Poland. You know, that's a guy's last name. Who's Farna owns the company now, but he had the real original Poland dealer. Much about chainsaws. It's an arborist saw, basically, that you use to climb with. That's what you climb with. I've got the... Uh, The, uh, uh, what's it called? 193 Steel. I'm going to get to work. Maybe I'll keep y'all updated on this. I don't know. I just, it's just a little project. This is my saw. I'm not working on it for anybody for money or anything. It's just, I don't know. It's nostalgia kicking in. You know, it's an old saw and poor filler. I don't know how long it's been sitting I'd have to ask my buddy if he even knows. I don't even know where he got the thing from. He's probably had it forever. I'd like to find more of these. They sell these if y'all ever get a chance to buy one. A lot of people do stuff with them, so you can definitely resell them. I'd like to have some more of them. I mean, they're not valuable or nothing, but anyway, I'll catch you guys later. Here's what I'm going to use to clean it since I can't bring liquid de you know, spray degreaser in here. These, these things are good. I mean, good. I got a bunch of fuel line. I got everything ready. Got the. I don't make that carb anymore, so I'd buy the rebuild kit. That's the wrong one. This don't have a bulb with it. I think they've sent me the wrong freaking rebuild kit. Well, it's probably a universal rebuild kit. We'll see when I get into it. I got a whole box of parts right here. Anyway, I'll catch you guys later. Okay, I don't know if I'm going to put it in this video. I've been working on this. And it's been hours. Because there was a car wreck right in front of... I mean, while I was sitting here. I kind of heard a noise, but you know, I'm just a car noise. And then I heard a big diesel pull up. I didn't hear the siren. And there's a wreck right. So I'll probably throw in some of it. So I literally have done nothing. The old fuel line, let me show you something. That's what happens when you leave ethanol in a, look at that. That is hard as a rock. Look at that. <coughs> this is what it's supposed to look like. Nice and flexy and soft. But that's what this looks like. My friggin' light died, so I had to pull out this one. So there's wasn't nothing to it. I took it. Here's the carb. I haven't taken it apart yet. I barely got. Let me let me show. You, I was wanting to show you this bind. Yeah, let me film my, to pull this straight. Now this one's dying. Oh my goodness! You get in here. You cut. What you do is you take a knife. I happen to have this cheesy little. I think I got this from Harbor Freight or something. See, it's already feeling, feeling. Well, the back broke off, falling apart. I'm going to get rid of it because it's dangerous. After a, you cut an angle on it, right? And the gas line's bigger. That's what seals it. You don't have a grommet. And then you take some needle nose pliers. I need two hands. That's what she said. Hold on. Uh, you see where I cut it at an angle that's what you gotta do but I'll get it in there as soon as I get off this phone I'll take these needle nose I love these Harbor Freight's got a coupon right now if you hurry for $2.75 for these lifetime warranty needle nose you will never tear these up doing small engine repair I've got a lot of these see I'm getting my nice desk dirty I got the cardboard down, but I keep moving it. So, I'm going to pull that fuel line through. What it does, it goes right there. It goes up in this handle. All the way down. And the carb goes right there. 
the air filter goes right there it is run so bad i just barely touched it and it come apart which i i expected it and i'm gonna probably make an air filter or order one you can make them out of i've got some extra foam ones that i can cut down from another project but what I'm going to do is, before I start doing everything, I've got a compression tester right here beside of me. I'm going to test, after I run the fuel lines, I'm going to check the compression. If two strokes, most of them need typically 70, 70 minimum. I'd say 70 minimum. Uh, this right here is kind of sticky, so I'm going to clean it. I'm going to either take it apart and clean it, or I'm going to spray it and work it. Sometimes if you hose it down with something, some air or something, or sometimes I've done WD-40 just soaking it, it works. And I was thinking about modding the muffler, but I don't know. And I mean modding it. I'm welding on some new... Nah, I ain't going to do all that. I was thinking about starting port... I was thinking about porting my Poland 5020, actually porting it out, seriously, and then, you know, take the MIG welder and modify the exhaust, make me a very powerful Poland. Good thing about these, not this one, that 5020, the parts, like, I can buy the piston and everything for this, the crank, 25 bucks, so I could do whatever I want to to this thing. But I'm bringing this one back factory. I might work on some more. I might start welding on some, doing some exhaust. I've been really thinking about doing stuff like that. I just haven't done it. But anyway, I'm going to pull this through and I'll update you again. Uh, I've shared the link before on Instagram or somewhere. So I'm going to test it with the... I got it right here beside of me. The boroscope got a light on the end of it and i'll stick it right in that where the plug's at and i'll take the exhaust off check that side exhaust side and we'll give her a good look see and see what she looks like but i'm still running the fuel lines anyway like i said it'll go in there i've got an extra filter from a previous job it just runs right along that to the carburetor there is no purge bulb primer bulb so I don't have to worry about that. It's that simple. So, and then I got to take that carb apart right there. Where's it at? So, right there was the fuel filter that was in it. That's definitely junk. And it's weighted. If y'all don't know how fuel filters work, like when you turn machines on angles, these things are weighted. That way when you turn it on the side and there's not as much gas in it, it'll follow the gas. That's how that works. And depending on how heavy it is, some brands have lighter ones. And if you turn it fast over that side and it goes blue a little bit, that's why. It's getting dry, so to speak. Anyway, I'll be back. That's enough for God money. I've talked eight minutes. Toodles. Okay, besides making a big mess, I got all this ran, which is kind of sketch. The way this is made i lost that freaking linkage down up under here and I had to take it all apart but look at this right here's the throttle so it's real close to the fuel line and it snaps in and it goes and it's exposed right there right where your hand goes so it's ran so now this is the choke here it is boop boop Book, 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 book. Here we go. Now it's onto the carb. Right here. Choke. Choke. Attaches. That mechanism right there moves that. And that covers up the port. See it? And these is what mounts onto the to the block so we got to remove well i might leave that gasket on there i might just use some freaking carb cleaner that's a wall bro carb might just use some uh carb cleaner yep
Gotta be careful if I ain't the right kit. I mean, it don't matter if I mess up the gaskets. You see in the background is a bunch of parts. Oh, that's a little bitty mother fricker. There we go. I keep a lot of my tools in these bags so I know what bag to grab. So I'm portable. You know, you keep your good tools in your toolbox and then you make tool bags to take with you. Cheaper tools. <coughs> so... <laughs> See the diaphragm in these carbs, and then the needle. Yeah. It has to be functioning for one. Diaphragm, it seems like goes out all the time on two strokes. I don't care. They just fail, especially on cheaper carburetors. Walbro, in my opinion, is superior. The Zama, Zama, whatever. Yep, that diaphragm's bad. Under it. It's hard doing this with it. I'm trying to. It's a little too hard and stiff. It's supposed to be real soft because it fluctuates. I don't think they sent me the right kit. Mmm. Where is my... It's coming apart anyway. Where's my little flathead? I know it don't matter because it's bad. But you know it could be just good enough to where it actually works. So I don't want to ruin it to wait yeah, ain't too, ain't. yeah here it yep yeah, it's too hard that's what she said it's definitely too hard a little needle in there see it move it moves freely So I'm not taking it out. I need to go ahead and clean the jets out and stuff. And then I'll be done. I'm going to put it back together. I'm not going to sit here and film all this. I don't know. I think it's screwed. That freaking ethanol. I'm telling you what. It should be illegal. Who's Vana? Anyway. I'll be back. <laughs> Oh, <laughs>